Hey guys, welcome, this is Banto. Today we're gonna play a game called Craft the World. So this will be my second time playing this. It's been a long time since the last time and we're gonna start a new campaign, a brand new one today, guys. Congratulations, we did it. We opened an ancient portal to this new world. Hello, Mr. Dwarf. Unfortunately, we currently only have enough power to send one dwarf. How will he reproduce, though? Look around and start building your outpost. No one knows how dangerous this might be in this place. Okay, dude. Open journal to see the instructions we prepared for you. Today we have a journal and we have some quests in here. Pay attention to your tasks, complete them to earn rewards. So this is the task, we got to dig tunnels, cut down trees, some pretty basic things to start with. Okay, let's start with chopping down a few trees then. Get some wood for us. The way these dangerous creatures live in the tall tree. Oh, so there's like a spider in it. Hello, angry bird. How are you doing today? Having a good time? I can't see you before. Come on, you can do it. Maybe a knife, a stone knife isn't the best tool for doing this. Excellent! Cut down a tree. We got some XP. Awesome. And we got a new dwarf and a totem. Excellent! Our power's grown, you've reached the next level! And I can now take in more settlers, that's awesome, because we want to have more than one, we want to reproduce, but we are still only guys though. Great job! Now wait for the resources to be carried to the stockpile! We now have re enough resources to build some necessary tools! Open the workshop, so we're gonna win into this one. This is our workshop, and what do they want us to craft? Perhaps some tools? On the left you can see the resources in the stockpile. So pretty much like uh, playing Minecraft, so we're gonna take some wood here and drop it in. Craft, I guess we can do two of those. There we go, two clubs, it should be good. Guess we should go and perhaps equip them also. Here we go, two clubs for us, no, no one can go and defeat us. Oh, another creature, look at them, just smashing down a spider. Don't have a chance anymore, Mr. Spider. Because we got clubs, wooden clubs. We ain't fr afraid to smash you, man. Okay, so I guess we gather a little bit more wood. They're still popping up pretty quickly. Maybe there's something more we can craft. We get a new task at least. Dig a tunnel, new technology, basic woodworking. Okay, so perhaps we should dig a tunnel then, guys. And... Like, when I played this the first time, I actually dug down instead of going up. But maybe we should go up. It feels like no dwarf should be going down into their... Caverns and caves. So let's just go down a bit here. Maybe only down to this place. Let's need to chop that one down. Let's see if we can craft some of those ladders they wanted. So let's try to make these. Take a couple of those, like four perhaps. We can put them out like this. Here we go, my little dwarfs. Now we can actually climb around a bit. Dig a tunnel! A task completed by Danto. Let's see what more tasks we got going on here. So we got some really, really basic thing in the beginning. You must craft items to finish researching this technology. And the same for this one. So let's see here. This should be the technology tree and where we can unlock different things. So once we craft these things... We will progress this bar like an XP bar, and once we get there, we should be able to progress to the next one. So, why don't we go and perhaps make a wooden hatch and maybe some more of these ladders, and maybe some more tools, some proper axe and pickaxe. That should help out a lot with uh, going through and gathering more stuff. So, we do not have stone from it. I guess we can get it pretty soon, but let's do maybe a hatch at least. Two of those. Awesome, we beat it. We beat it. So now we can go for basic armor and start to make some like wooden helmets and stuff like that. But uh, let's start with gathering a little bit of stone then because we are going to need that. We want to gather these two and um, maybe go down here. I was thinking of building down here. I don't like this little uh, growing things down here. Another dwarf joins us. We got plus one earth, whatever we have that for. And wooden hatch on, so that's nice. I think we should be able to place a wooden hatch here, by the way. 
should be here some. Okay, not above that one. There we go. That's nice. So we're hopefully gonna live down here. Where do we see in my inventory, by the way? Because we should have one to see it for the moment. Here it is. Some torches we can do. Let's do some torches. At least one we could do. That's nice. And uh, let's put it here. This will be our home pretty much. So let's put it, I think, down here. Unable to build a totem. Oh, so we gotta be like two in height or something. And let's see here if we can maybe dig down these two. Gather them berries for me, Mr. Dwarf. Let's see if we can put it down here. Because they need a two in height pretty much. Complete the shelter! Complete the shelter by putting down a totem in the center. This will scare off monsters and evil spirits. Shelter must be protected by walls on all sides, while the entrance should be covered with doors and hatches. Okay. So there we go, we got some place. We need to take care of these guys, I guess. So let's see if we can perhaps get out of, out of the way. Got some lights going here. Light it up the place. Let's go and destroy these guys. Hopefully we can do it. I think we should be able to handle those. Yeah, that wasn't real that dangerous. We found a book down here, a cookbook. 13th edition, revised and expanded. Use increased skill for the selected dwarf so someone can become a better cook with it. That's nice. So maybe put some lights down here. We're probably gonna dig down a bit. And go and see what we have down here. Can we actually like put a hatch down here? Oh, I guess we can. So we can uh, like stop our place all the way here. So outside will be outside our house. Still goes down. I think he would have to do like that to lock it in, perhaps. Let's see when it comes around this star. Still goes down. Okay. So let's see. We do have some. We do have some uh, coal down here, and I think that is iron. I guess we're gonna need that. Maybe kind of soon. We will see. I want to see if we can make the tools that we wanted. We want to get some uh, stone pickaxes and some axes. So perhaps don't do that. Let's go and gather a little bit more wood, so we can make some tools, and let's kill that little snail over there. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Ghosty Dwarf. Hey, don't steal my stuff, dude. Hey, did you take something? Looks like he's trying to take something. What are you trying to grab, Mr. Ghost? Okay, now we're going home. The ghost disappears when the rain comes. It's coming inside the base. Okay, let's see if we can actually make some proper tools for us. So we need three of those and then we will need some more of the, the axes. But I guess we're gonna go for just the pickaxes for now can go dig down here and in the ghettos and let's get some more trees let's look around the world a bit we have a shop over here with a big ogre outside with some guy and something some piggies some chicken and some kind of farm going on a big graveyard what more do we have so that's the end of this world let's see the other side it might be something interesting on this one sheep and some animals so, not really much, no, like, goblin camp or something. I had that before when I played, but this time it doesn't seem like we have one. But maybe they can spawn later on. I'm not really sure about that. Okay, let's see if we can actually craft some hatchets. And we also need to go and equip these. Can only make one for now. At least we can gather a bit fast now, then. New technology, basic tool making, that's awesome, and let's equip this. The one hatchet and one pickaxe, and uh, one pickaxe for this person and one for the next one. There we go, now we should be able to do it faster. Hopefully the guy with the axe is not doing it, of course. Okay, let's gather a little bit more wood, and uh, I guess we can mine over here. There's a lot of stone there. If we should make a bridge here for going here faster. Get down trees, collect coal, collect... So there's a lot of collect stuff as well. There's a lot of tasks to do. Oh, basic furniture. That would be nice. Let's see what we need to do that. 
Oh, so we can pretty much already do it. Bed of leaves. I guess we're gonna get some beds on here. Oh, another dwarf joins. Evil forces have found us again, prepared to beat a wave of monsters. They will arrive in like uh, 40 minutes. Yeah, that's pretty long, but we're playing at uh, two times speed, so it's gonna be about 20 minutes. So let's see what we wanna do. Let's see what we wanna do. This is the bed. Let's get some beds for our little dwarfs. They're gonna have a little cozy place to sleep at. We will need four now, I think, four dwarfs. That's about it. I guess we could get some table and share, but I'm gonna wait with that. It would increase the comfort for our people. Uh, some headgear, I guess we can do. Backpack. Can we make ropes already? What do we need for that? We need wool for it. Here we go. So we like to upgrade these, by the way. I don't think we can do it for the moment. I could be wrong, though. I haven't played this game in a really long time, but I would love to upgrade those. I know that I did something with that when I played the first time. It could be something we unlock a little bit later in, in the game. Could be that. I don't know how to get through. Get through what? Maybe we can shop a little bit. I would remove probably a little bit of this uh, stuff grown up here, but... I think it's gonna be worth it, even though if this uh, wheat goes away, then we'll be easier to go up here. Here we go. Another rain. It's always raining at the dwarves. Let's just, uh, remove a bit more here, so we can make our place a little bit bigger, a little bit more cozy, I guess. We can get some beds down there. Maybe we'll build another floor down here, perhaps. Here we go. So a little bit more tools. Let's go and equip those. Another book, an archer book, uh, used to increase the skill for the selected dwarf. We don't have an archer yet, but maybe that is something we, we will try to get pretty soon. Let's see, what more do we want to go? Can't really do much for the moment. Let's check out uh, this tech tree here for the doors. So we got a wooden door, basic construction. We need to make some uh, pot lock or nails. I should do need to get this thing first, I think, the basic illuminating. So pretty much make some lights for us. Let's go and make some more. Here we go. Take three, let's check it out. So now we should be do, able to do some basic iron working. Let's see what we need. We need some raw ore for this. We do not have any for the moment. So we need to go down here pretty much and gather some of this ore. Give it nice. Let me go like that first. So that should be good. Might be some creatures running to us now. I think this thing is, um, that's the, like the big attack, but I think there will come perhaps some enemy else tonight, even though this thing isn't yet. Harder, faster dwarf. You can do it. Could we mine the background? Yeah, we could mine the background, yeah. So that gives a little bit more of stuff for us. Okay, let's get a few more ladders. Gonna need some of those. And then I want to see if we can make some with this iron that we just got here. So we can make locks and uh, I guess we can put them on doors and chests and we have the nails. I guess we use them for some kind of crafting later on. Let's start with making some nails. Okay, we couldn't do much of that. So we need a lot more iron then. So this place looks like it has plenty of iron for us. Let's go get that. What are you guys trying to do? Maybe we should build the house up here, by the way. It feels like then we can lock this in, because now this will be over the base and not really protect in any way. But yes, for now, let's put in some beds down here. There we go, four beds. So that at least are able to go and do a little bit of sleeping if they want to. Oh, level five! Another dwarf, a stone and a wooden hatch. Be gone, spider. Another task. Make equipment. It feels like there's more task than there was when I was playing this for the first time in the past. That's good. We got a lot of iron going on. We have to put some ladder here. Most likely. And let's see. Might need more than one even. Oh. 
So what do you guys think? Should we be building on top over the stockpile? I feel like that sounds the most um, defending thing with it. Because then these ghosts hopefully can't just go through. I guess they can flow through the walls though. <clears throat> but it feels like it should be a little bit more secure if we do that. Oh, some goblin? Oh, there's one goblin at least coming over. Smash him down! Destroy him! Destroy him! Well done, my little... I guess we can keep those, doesn't hurt to have them. But yeah, guys, this will be it for today with uh, Craft the World. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know. And uh, if you want to watch more of this with Craft the World, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. So guys, thank for watching, hope you had a good, good time, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos such as this and live streams. So thanks for watching, hope you all had a good, good time, and hope to see you next time. Take care guys, have a great, great day.